And now, a 4th of July address from America's chief weirdo. My fellow Americans, thank you for joining us on this wonderful occasion as we celebrate the birthday of our great nation. As your chief weirdo, I have planned the most magnificent birthday bash this country has ever seen. The transformation of the Lincoln Memorial behind me into a world-class bouncy house is only the first step in this celebration of America. All around the Capitol, members of our peerless armed forces have been deployed in clown shoes and full makeup to assemble balloon animals and deliver mandatory face painting with tactical skill and unmatched accuracy. The grand parade I have scheduled for this afternoon will show off America's biggest missiles, longest cucumbers, largest bananas, and thickest sausage in a display of American virility that will send the country spirits triumphantly up like a slide whistle and never comically down like also a slide whistle. The South Lawn of the White House will play host to a full range of games and activities, including red, white, and blue balloon darts, and, in the spirit of bipartisanship, pin the tail on the donkey and the elephant. And tonight, you will see a fireworks show the likes of which you have never seen before, including 27% more of those fireworks that look like a smiley face, all facing the right way up. And at the end, every citizen will be given a box of those little firework popper things to throw at whatever they want, because America. As Chief Weirdo, I want to assure you that this is not political, and it is not about me. Sure, I put a picture of my face on every free American flag distributed today, and okay, I did instruct the military to laser etch my name into the Washington Monument and make it 20% bigger than before. But that is only because I love America, and I want America to feel that love on her birthday, whether she wants to or not. And now, with this grand flyover, let America's birthday bash begin!